Hey yo Islanders, welcome back to another episode of Islander Robotic. And before we actually start today's video, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. You are all truly awesome and this channel would not be the channel that it is today without all of you. So I just want to say thank you. For those Islanders that have not yet subscribed, please do consider becoming part of the Islander community because on this channel we teach each other robotics through programming so if that interests you at all please do consider hitting that subscription button as well as that bell icon so you get notified when I post my next video the whole purpose of today's video is actually going to be a table of content for all well for a whole boatload of different videos that will be coming afterwards that will be all associated with this one program that we'll be creating on in this series and what is that program we will be talking about well it is more for the youtubers out there that want to make their video upload experience more What's the word? More easy, uh, more accessible, and more well, less stressful. For those that are not YouTubers, do not hit that X button just yet because this video is going to be what is used to be rerouting you to the various different topics that we'll be talking about in each um, video that's associated with this series. The main purpose of, like I've been saying, this video is going to be a table of contents for all the other videos. So this video will be at the top of the playlist and it will essentially be a guide for all of you to be able to access the various different t um, topics inside of this series. Just by able to go underneath on the little progress bar that's showing as you watch the video, that video is going to be, I mean, that little bar is going to have timestamps associated with when I talk about those specific topics, when you click on those timestamps and you get rerouted to that timestamp, there's going to be a little info card up on the screen. Go ahead and click that info card and get routed to that video associated with that topic. For instance, before I actually get into the first um, topic, let me just give you a little bit of background information on what, I, what, why is it that we will be talking about this type of information. So let me just bring up my YouTube home screen. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to come over here. I'm just going to type in Python classes and objects. I want to make sure that my videos get to the needed. I want to make sure that all my videos get to the, get to the audience that needs this information. So by doing that, well, in order for me to do that, I need to use third party applications with third party da databases to be able to do that and these third party databases can be like this keyword right here which gives me a total amount of times someone is subscribed um, someone searches this exact word phrase all right over the past 8100 people have searched this this keyword per month all right so I want to be able to keep track of that for each time of my well each one of my videos as well as I want to know the number score for each one of my keywords and I use a third party application as well like video IQ that gives me well this this sco um, keyword has a score of 57 as well as TubeBuddy which is giving me a keyword score of 11 why do all of you care well I can actually use a um, I can actually use a skill inside of Python well inside of any programming language called classes and objects Hence, what I typed in, this will actually be the name of the video that we will be talking about classes and objects within Python. And the little time, well, the little info card should be popping up on the screen right about now. And it will have this exact title for that video. All right, so if you're trying to learn about uh, Python objects and classes, go ahead and click that info card. If it is not yet up on the screen, don't worry because that video will be going live 30 minutes after this video. Which brings me to my next thing I want to just say to everyone. All the videos, once they go live, their info cards will show up on the screen with their designated timestamps. Just in case I didn't make that very clear, the designated timestamps, it the designated time timestamps brings you to the inf brings you to the spot where I talk about the sp specific video as well as that info card will be showing up right about then. All right, the next topic we're going to be talking about is dictionaries within Python. But before I actually start talking about that, I'm actually going to make me full screen so you can all see my beautiful face. All righty, so the next topic inside of this series is we're going to be talking about dictionaries. Dictionaries are a very interesting topic, a very interesting data type to understand. Honestly, it makes your life a lot easier and the way that we're going to be using dictionaries within the series and within this software really is going to be a really cool thing where we actually really do de rely on the key order, the key type, well, what is it called? Key order, it's either key order or key type 
how essentially what you're able to do is associate a key type with a designated value. So go ahead and click on the info card showing up on the screen right about now to learn more about dictionaries within Python because dictionaries and classes and everything we'll be talking about inside of this series will make you a very proficient programmer. All right, and it'll actually help you in um, programming interviews. So go ahead and click on that info card that should be that should have already been up on the screen. And the next topic we're going to be talking about is actually changing the color of our output text within Python. If you ever heard of Colorama, we're going to be using that Python library to be able to change the essentially the change the output text so that we can keep an idea of how many characters we are importing. I mean, how many characters we are entering into our um, software. So if you want to learn about that, and I actually use this in a very creative way, I think so. So if you want to go check that out, the info card should be up on the screen, and it's kind of like a very creative thing that you can do within Python. Because the next thing we're going to be talking about in this series is sorting. Yes, I know sorting is something I've already talked about several, well, a couple times in the past like merge sort or insertion sort, which the links to those videos will be down below in the description bar if you want to go check them out. But I will be using a different in, um, sorting algorithm for this designated software, and that's the info card for that should be popping up on the screen right about now. I will be using a different sorting algorithm than insertion sort or merge sort, just so that all of you can get another understanding of a different type of um sorting algorithm all right there are more sorting algorithms than i can count so again that the info card that will be showing up on the screen is get, going to route you to a different um sorting algorithm than merge sort or insertion sort if you want to check out those videos go ahead look down in the description bar and there will be a link to those videos the next thing we're going to be talking about is priority queues priority queues is going to be something that you really should understand when you go up for your coding interview and we'll be using this to essentially be able to give me or anyone using this program the top 10 or top whatever number that you choose um, keywords out of your out of the designated keywords that you have chosen based off of the different databases that you will have the choice to choose as well so if you want to go check out what prior priority queues are go ahead and click the info card up on the screen right about now and get routed to that video hope you all enjoy the last topic we'll be talking about is a CS well inside of Python I mean not inside of Python inside of YouTube youtubers have the ability to copy and paste keywords into the little designate keyword area but you can't copy multiple keywords into um, into that area unless it is a comma separate value so in order to do that and be able to have a more streamlined process of uploading these videos so that all of you can have a better experience with my videos, we're going to also export all the keywords based off of whatever designated database I want it, well I want or you want and that the program will output a CSV file associated with that database as well as with those keywords that you have chosen. That is all I got. Well well I almost forgot the info card to that video should be popping up on the screen right about now so go ahead and click that video when it becomes live well go ahead and click on the info card when it becomes live and the info card shows on this video for those of you that have made it this far in today's video you are all truly awesome and I have a gift for all of you all of you that have stayed this will have the chance to essentially be able to come up with the name of the software. So go down in the comments section down below, leave a comment on what you think this software should be called. The so the name well the comment with the most likes will be the name of this will be the name of the software. May the best comment win and that's all I have for today's video. For those of you that do not know this, I actually have a in well Islander Robotics actually has a Instagram and that little in there should be a little Instagram animation coming up on the screen right about now. Go ahead, check me out on Instagram. I'm usually posting something, some some crazy stuff going on over there. So go ahead and check me out. As well as that's all I got for all of you today. Please do consider hitting that subscription button as well as that bell icon if you have not done so. And if you enjoyed this series as well as this video, please do consider hitting that like button. And if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. All right, and I'll see you all in 30 minutes. Bye.